Hi, welcome you all to Pebbles. In today's class, we are going to see Max Class 6 Equivalent Fraction. See, two fractions are said to be equivalent if they represent the same quantity, each proper or improper fraction has infinitely many equivalent fraction. I'll repeat, two fractions are said to be equivalent fraction if they represent the same quantity, if they represent the same quantity, each proper or improper fraction has infinitely, infinitely many equivalent fraction. To find an equivalent fraction, that is two fractions are said to be equivalent. They said that two fractions are said to be equivalent fraction. If they represent the same quantity, they represent the same quantity means um, or the same number that is called the same quantity. Each proper or improper fraction has infinitely many equivalent fraction. So, each uh, proper fraction, even though uh, improper fraction, has infinitely many equivalent fraction, has given uh, what? Many equivalent fraction. To find an equivalent fraction of a given fraction, we multiply or divide both the numerator and the denominator of the given fraction by the same non-zero number. That means if you want to find out the equivalent fraction means, wh whatever the fraction you have taken, maybe it is a proper fraction or improper fraction whatever the fraction you have taken you have to multiply multiply the what same number by the uh, multiply by the same number both the denominator as well as the numerator for example I have given the question is 2 by 3 so 2 by 3 is a find 5 equivalent fraction the question is 2 by 3 so 2 by 3 is a 2 is a what what numerator and 3 is a denominator so it is a what 2 is less than 3 that means numerator 2 and denominator is 3. So numerator is what less than the denominator so it is a proper fraction. So maybe it is a proper fraction or improper fraction is left up to your choice you have taken what kind of a fraction may be but uh, that if you want to find out the equivalent fraction but that means what you are going to do you have to multiply or divide the same number multiply. Uh, multiply or divide the same number but uh, that means the numerator as well as the denominator is going to multiply by the same number or divide the same number you can get the equivalent fraction I'll repeat whatever the fraction may be whether it is a proper fraction or improper fraction for example if you take and you have to find out otherwise you, you have to convert into an equivalent fraction so what you're going to do you have to take the what you have to multiply that means you have to find out or in find out that uh, particular number that means why you are taking the particular number that means you are going to multiply multiply by the numerator as well as the denominator by the same number okay so whatever the number you have taken for the multiplication or division that num that number should be similar that num number should should be similar and you should not change the number so that number is going to multiply by the numerator as well as the denominator then you can find the equivalent fraction that is the meaning of the question and I told you already the two fractions are said to be equivalent if they represent the same quantity if they represent the same quantity each proper or improper fraction is infinitely many equivalent fraction so this is a proper we have taken only one fraction that is a proper fraction so find equivalent fraction we are going to find out this is an example so let's start the sum the first one is 2 by 3 that is 2 by 3 2 is a numerator and 3 is a denominator so if you want to uh, convert this uh, proper fraction into equivalent fraction means so the number which number I have taken that is 2 I have taken 2 so I am going to multiply by what multiply by the numerator as well as the denominator by the same number 2 so 2 into 2 4 and 4 and next 3 into 2 that is numerator is 2 I am going to take the number is 2 so 2 into 2 4 and denominator is 3 and also I am going to multiply by 2 so 4 by 6 so 2 into 2 and 3 into 2 you can get 4 by 6 so 2 into 2 you can get 4 divided by 4 uh, that is 3 into 2 you can get 6 so 4 by 6 is a equivalent fraction so look at this number 4 by 6 if you divide by what divided by 2 you can get the same number 4 is divided by 2 you can get 2 
and what 6 is divided by 2 you can get 3 so 2 and 3 both are the equivalent fraction so which number you have taken you have taken the same number that means 2 you have taken you can use for the multiplication as well as for the division you can choose any one of the method otherwise you are using two method is not an issue so i'm using multiplication as well as the division so 2 by 3 the equivalent fraction of 2 by 3 is nothing but 4 by 6 the same number 2 by 3 is going to multiply by 3 so multiply by 3 so i've taken the number is 3 so 3 is uh, 3 is a number i've taken so i'm going to multiply by multiply by the numerator as well as the denominator so this number is going to multiply by the multiply by the what numerator multiply by the both uh, numerator as well as the denominator so 2 by 3 i'm going to multiply by 3 2 into 3 i'm going to get 6 and 3 into 3 you can get 9 okay 9 and 2 by 3 i'm going to multiply by 4 and also 3 is going to multiply by 4 so 2 by 3 I'm going to multiply by 4 and that means numerator is going to multiply by 4 and the denominator also going to multiply by 4 I can get 8 by 12 2 into 4 I, I, I got 8 and 3 into 4 I can get sorry I got oh, 12 and 2 into 5 that means the same number is 5 the same which number I have taken 5 so numerator is going to multiply by 5 and denominator also going to multiply by 5 so 2 into 5 I can get 10 and 3 into 5 I can get what 15 15 always I got 10 by 15 and uh, because I've, I have clearly mentioned 5 equivalent fractions so 4 by 6 and 6 by 9 and 8 by 12 and 10 by 15 so how many equivalent fraction I have taken 1 and 2 and 3 here 4 so again 2 by 3 is going to multiply by 6 uh, 6 I have taken so I am going to multiply by 6 by the numerator as well as the denominator numerator, numerator is 2 and denominator is 3 so 2 is my 2 is going to multiply by 6 and 3 is also going to multiply by 6 I can get what 12 by 18 so the answer is what are the fractions I need only 5 equivalent fraction so 4 by 6 6 by 8 8 by 12 10 by 15 and 12 by 18 but uh, what you, you just listen it's all multiplication it is not division it is all multiplication I'm using only the multiplication method then I find out the equivalent fraction for 2 by 3 so 2 by 3 5 equivalent fraction is nothing but 4 by 6 6 by 9 8 by 12 10 by 15 and 12 by 18 this is the exact answer for the question and one more thing listen if I take the number 2 means this 2 is going to multiply by both the numerator as well as the denominator if I take 3 means I should not change 3 so here 3 here 2 it is completely wrong whatever the number you have taken that is not a um, that is not an issue 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 7 whatever the number you have taken but that is not an issue but you have to multiply by both the denominator both the numerator as well as the denominator both the denom both the numerator as well as the denominator that denominator sorry numerator and the denominator is going to multiply by the same number that is called that 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 only you can get the equivalent fraction so if you want to convert the proper fraction or improper fraction so you have to take any number that is any natural number you have taken uh, that is not an issue but that number is going to multiply by both the numerator as well as the de denominator then only you can get the equivalent fraction so we can use multiplication as well as the what division it is not an issue see the next one is here 6 by 9 6 by 9 is divided by what divided by 3 so you can get what you can get 2 by 3 again you can get it See, look at the next number 8 by 12 8 by 12 is divided by 4 so both the numerator and the denominator is divided by 4 you can get what again 8 is divided by 2 you can get what 2 and 12 is divided by 4 you can get 3 so again you can get 2 by 3 so here what 10 by 15 so 10 by 15 is divided by 5 okay 5 is divided by 5 again you can get 10 is divided by 5 you can get 2 and 15 is divided by 5 you can get 3 again what is the answer 12 by 18 12 by 18 is divided by 6 both the numerator and the denominator is divided by 6 again you can get what 12 is divided by 6 you can get 2 and 8 is divided 18 is divided by 6 you can get 3 so the basic form 
this is the this is the major number 2 by 3 so this is the question is given this is a proper fraction so 2 by 3 you even you can get the what uh, multiplication as well as the division both method you can use so both method means in that particular place see listen uh, this is the exact method that is um, 5 find sorry 5 equivalent fraction we are using only 2 here we are using only 2 as you are using only the multiplication method so the final answer is 2 by 3 5 uh, sorry uh, 5 equivalent fraction for what fraction for 2 by 3 this is the question is given this is the question is given so 2 by 3 is the question okay you have to find that to find 5 equivalent fraction for 2 by 3 this is the question is given in the book so 2 by 3 is multiplied by 2 and you can get 4 by 6 2 by 3 is multiplied by 3 you can get 6 by 9 and 2 by 3 is multiplied by 4 8 by 12 2 by 3 is multiplied by 5 you can get 10 by 15 and 2 by 3 multiplied by 6 you can get 12 by 18 this is a exact answer for this question but we, can, we are using only the multiplication method but the division we can find out the root number we are using division uh, what are the equal equivalent fraction you find out that is 4 by 6, 6 by 9, 8 by 12, 10 by 15, 12 by 18. These are the 5 equivalent fraction but you have to divide the according number. Whatever the number you have taken, so the, by that particular number you have to use and you have to divide. You can get the root number 2 by 3. That means you can get the question 2 by 3. So this is a division method. So this is also the verification for your verification you are using this division method. But while you use um, what while you go for the exact uh, qu while you solve the question while you solve the question or else while you are doing the uh, uh, while you solve the question that means you are using most probably what multiplication method uh, that is the um, easiest method you can do even division also you can do that is not an issue but you have while you are beginner means you are using only the what multiplication uh, multiplication method to find the equivalent fraction. So, I have told you this two fractions are said to be equivalent. So, 2 by 3, 4 by 6, this is equivalent fraction. Again, 2 by 3, 6 by 9, equivalent fraction. 2 by 3, 8 by 12, these are the two fractions and also equivalent fraction. 2 by 3 and 10 by 5, two fractions and also 2 by 3, 10 by 5 is equivalent fraction. And 2 by 6, uh, sorry, 2 by 3, again 12 by 8. So, this is the equivalent fractions. I will repeat once again. See, 2 by 3 is equal to 4 by 6 and 2 by 3 is equal to 6 by 9 and 2 by 3 again which is 8 by 12 and 2 by 3 again what is this 10 by 15 and 2 by 3 again 6 by 12 these are the two fractions these are the two fractions but both are equivalent fractions that is what two fractions are said to be equal if they represent the same quantity so it represent only the same quantity each proper or improper fraction has infinitely many equivalent fractions this is a proper fraction so it gives lot of oh, that is infinitely it gives lot of what equivalent fraction but i find out only five equivalent fraction if you want to find out means you can multiply even though two by three into again seven you can get what that is 14 divided by 21. So, next 8 you can get what 2 into 8 again what you will get then 3 into 8 ok 3 into 8 that means 16 divided by 24. So, let us keep on what going on keep on what is this it's going on. So, that is that is that is what they said what infinitely many equivalent fraction and to find an equivalent fraction to find an equivalent fraction of a given fraction. So, this is a 2 by 3 exactly 2 by 3 is a root it is a root, uh, root fraction. So, 2 by 3 is a given fraction in the book. So, we multiply or divide both the numerator and the denominator of the given fraction. So, that means nothing but, so both the numerator and the denominator multiply by the same number. That is nothing but 2, here 3, what here what 4, here 2, here 3, here 4 and here 5 and what is this here 6 and here what 7 and here 8. So, that is what. 
and also what um, or multiply or divide both the numerator and the denominator i am here i am doing only the multiplication if you want to do the division also i i shown of you for the checking method i i showed you already then you can get the root fraction that is 2 by 3 you can get it of the given fraction given fraction is nothing but 2 by 3 by the same non zero number so by the same non zero number this is 2 is a non zero number and 3 this is because 2 is multiplied by both the numerator as well as the denominator even though you can divide you can even though you can do you can even though you can do the division method also that is not a problem so answer is 4 by 6 4 by 6 this is 2 by 3 is equal to what 4 by 6 is 4 by 6 is divided by 2 means you can get what 2 by 3 again so that is a division method and also check method also i have told you so you can get the given fraction as it is by the same non zero number is nothing but 2 is a non zero number and 3 is a non zero number and 4 is a non zero number 5 is a non zero number 6 is a non zero number that is what i think so you understand the basic concept of equivalent fraction very clearly so just go through the videos once or twice you can understand better